everyone welcome back to another interesting lesson in this tosca automation playlist today we are going to talk about the web tables which is a very favorite topic whenever you start working with any ui automation now talking about web tables and web tables are generally dynamic in nature which means the values uh, inside the cells keeps on changing now how do you keep track of these changes uh, is there a way to maybe compare a web table with a baseline okay so whenever you have a web table uh, so as per requirements you set up a baseline which means uh, the values inside the table are consistent okay uh, as per the requirements and then uh, when you get that kind of result you set that as a baseline for your remaining executions right so in tosca uh, there is an option to basically do a comparison of different baseline for your web tables. Okay, so once you set a particular baseline uh, for a particular web table, you can do a number of execution cycles for that web table, and then uh, it can compare your current state of the web table, which means the current values in the web table with the particular baseline which you have set earlier. Okay, and if they are different, then you will get the result uh, as failed and showing you what has changed in your web table. Now, this is a very useful way of comparing your uh, web tables depending on how the values are changing. And this could be very useful uh, when you have to test a streaming application, which means a lot of data is coming into the tables from a different source. And then you need to continuously compare large tables with large number of rows and values, okay? So let's see um, how this can be done. For this, I already have a module called select price option, and I have already added uh, the object, which is the table, right? Now, um, we are going to work on this particular test case, which is compare table baseline. And then I'm going to drag this module in here so that we get the table here with all the rows and columns. Okay, um, so how to set a baseline for your web table, right? So select the web table, go to the test cases section, and the last option you will see is for creating a new baseline, okay? Now, there are two ways of creating a baseline. One is the manual way, and one is the automatic way. So let's first look at the manual way. So uh, you go and select the web table and then click on create baseline. Okay, so what it will do is Tosca will now try to set a baseline uh, where it will compare um, the table which is currently open in your application. It will set all the values and it will create a baseline for this particular web table. Okay, and if it is successful, uh, you will see that the baseline was successfully created, okay, for this particular table, which is price table. Also here you will see that in the value, there is a table compare expression, which is set uh, and the action mode is set to verify, okay? And then uh, there is also a baseline created under the price table. And you will see that when it was created, at what time it was created, okay? Now, um, also what you can do, is so what if you want to uh, ignore some of the values which is present or ignore some of the rows so you don't want to include them in the comparison you want to exclude them so a row like select option right because uh, these are uh, just the radio buttons and uh, we don't want to include them in the comparison so what you can do you can come here and then uh, in the row okay i'm going to type it here called the select option, okay? And then uh, when you type that, uh, it will automatically set the action mode to exclude, okay? Because uh, this is under the baseline table comparison and whenever you are selecting any particular row, uh, you want to exclude that. Now you can also do that based on the cell value. Okay, so if you want to uh, exclude based on some cell value, if the table is dynamic, 
then you can do it at row level or column level uh, and then you can also set some value like if uh, the cell contains limited or um, the column is platinum so whatever condition you want or uh, to exclude whichever row or column you can set that accordingly right here okay so this is a way to exclude any particular row or column from the comparison, okay? And now uh, we have successfully created a baseline for our web table. And this will act like an expected result for your web table. So every time the comparison will happen against this particular values. Now, what we also want to do is we want to execute it multiple times so that we can compare our web table with the baseline. Okay, so here I have created a execution list and there is a select price option execution list. Under that, I'm going to now drag my particular test case. Okay, and uh, here now, uh, if I can execute this particular execution list, okay. So now um, there are no changes in the web table currently. So my execution should ideally pass. It is trying to compare the current state of my web table against a baseline version, okay? So now you will see that uh, the test case will pass and in the results, you will see that it is comparing against a baseline and uh, the verification was successful, okay? Now uh, let's do some changes in our application. So what I'm going to do is, uh, in the enter product data, instead of insurance sum, I'm going to select something else here, okay? And then when I go back to price option, the prices per year would increase and also some of the other options, right? So now the web table has changed. Now, uh, if I come here and uh, now if I run this again, this time you will see that it will fail. Okay, so now you can see uh, the second execution failed because the web table has changed, okay? And uh, here you will see uh, the details. So verification has failed and the column uh, was modified, right? This was the expected, this was the actual, and uh, this was column in row one was modified. So it is going to give you all the details of what has changed. And you can also see that in the screenshot. Now this can be compared in two different ways. You can compare the values or you can even compare the structure of the web table, right? So if the structure of the web table changes and that fails in your comparison, you can raise a defect for your development team to fix it. So it's a very easy way of comparing your web tables, whether something has changed from the baseline version, right? So now there are two executions, one passed and one failed. What you can also do is uh, if you want to set a new baseline, you can do it directly from the execution list, okay? So here, if I select this uh, test case and in the execution list section on the top, you will see there is an update baseline, okay? So if you want to update the baseline of your web table, you can do it right from here, okay? So select the test case and then click on update baseline and you will see that the baseline or price table successfully updated to snapshot from this, okay? So if uh, you want to change it, now you can change it right from here and this will be your new baseline. So the next execution, the table will be compared with the new baseline, not with the existing baseline, okay? So this way you can update your baseline even. So this is the a manual way of creating a baseline, updating the baseline, and then looking at the comparison results by executing it from the execution list. Now, what if you want Tosca to do it automatically, automatically set a baseline, right? So that can also be done by going to file settings and then uh, under T-Box, uh, under engines, there is table compare. Okay, and then in table compare, this is the enable auto generate baseline. And uh, this can be uh, set to true. Okay, which means uh, automatic generation of baselines will be enabled. Okay, so 
every time you execute, uh, automatic baseline will be created for you. Okay. But um, I would keep it false. Um, I would rather prefer the manual way of creating a baseline and then updating the baseline if required. So this way you can compare different web tables against a particular baseline. And you can make sure that your web tables are not getting affected by any particular development change which is happening, especially to the structure or to certain values which you don't expect to change. Now for the values which you expect to change or which are dynamic in nature, you can just ignore it from the comparison, okay? By excluding that particular row or column uh, totally from the comparison. So this comparison can only be done for things which you don't expect to change from the baseline version which was set earlier. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.